Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how the members of Korn have changed. You will get to know their ages and life stories in brief. Watch this video till the end to see how all the musicians of this new metal band looked in their youth and early career and how they look now in 2023. Enjoy watching. The childhood of James Schaefer known as Monkey was far from ordinary. Adopted at a young age he needed love and attention, and it was music that helped him find his own path. A lot changed after James accidentally injured one of his fingers and rehabilitating him was playing guitar. At school he met Brian Welch, and together they began to try experimenting with sounds. At that time Monkey was already part of the band LAPD, where he played with future Korn members David Silveria and Reginald Arvizu. LAPD broke up after releasing two albums, and on its ashes appeared the band we all know. Korn's music was different from anything else on the scene, their eponymous 1994 album was a real breakthrough for both the band and the new metal genre. They toured without radio or television support, but thanks to fan activism, the release hit the Billboard 200 charts, and the song Shoots and Ladders received a Grammy nomination for Best Metal Performance. Subscribe to the channel not to miss my new exciting videos about rock stars. Let's keep going. Reginald Arvizu's passion for music began in his school years. At that time he along with future corn guitarist Brian Welch played in various local bands. After graduation Fieldy and his like-minded friends made their way to Los Angeles to pursue their musical dreams. They formed a band called LAPD, and although they managed to get signed to a record deal, success was limited to small local gigs. That all changed when a hopeful vocalist Jonathan Davis joined them, and that's when the band Korn came into being. They began recording albums and touring, and Korn quickly became one of the leaders of a new trend in music new metal. The band's second album Life is Peachy was particularly successful, reaching number 3 on the Billboard 200. And the single No Place to Hide brought the band their second Grammy nomination. Reginald's talent and unique style of bass playing brought him recognition, and he was named Bassist of the Year in 2005 by Metal Hammer magazine. Brian Welch nicknamed Head because of his large head, felt different from his peers from an early age. This made him a target for bullying and harassment from other kids. Through his passion for music, Brian met another young guitarist James Schaefer. Their meeting was the beginning of an extraordinary friendship and creative journey. They often got together, performed their musical ideas and dreamed of hitting the big stage. In a few years these dreams became a reality, because in the mid-90s all heavy rock fans knew about Korn. The 1998 album Follow the Leader became the band's most commercially successful work and won numerous awards, including a Grammy for the music video Freak on a Leash. For religious reasons Welch left the band in 2005 to become a solo performer. After a seven-year hiatus, he returned to Korn and continued his musical career with the band. The name David Silveria is no doubt familiar to fans of the famous metal band Korn. He was only nine years old when he first picked up a drumstick and felt an overwhelming desire to learn to play drums. Over time he became more and more proficient, and at the age of 13, he became the drummer for the local band LAPD, which then morphed into Korn. One of the pinnacle moments in their career was the appearance of their fourth album Issues, which immediately became a major trend in the music industry. Critics noted that this album was different from their previous work, focusing more on alternative metal. But despite the mixed reviews, Issues is still considered by fans as one of the band's best albums. In late 2006, Silveria took a break from music to rest and focus on their steak restaurants. Ray Luzier is a talented drummer who has been able to turn his dreams into reality through perseverance and continuous effort. At the age of five he began his musical journey with piano lessons, but it was the percussion instruments that soon won his heart. He was an active member of jazz and parade bands. He successfully graduated from the Percussion Institute of Technology in 1989, and even then returned here as a teacher in the following years. Luzier has collaborated with a huge variety of musicians and bands, I won't list them all for you. However the most significant event in his career was joining Korn. He was originally a session drummer on tour after David Silveria left, but in 2009 he became an official member of the band. Remember Who You Are was the first Korn album in which Ray participated.
Jonathan Davis's childhood was marred by his parents' divorce when he was only three years old. He was subsequently raised by his father and stepmother, about her he would years later write the song Kill You. At an early age Jonathan suffered from severe asthma attacks that required him to visit the hospital every month for seven years. At school Davis was constantly bullied and teased because of his appearance and interests. At the age of 16 he began working as a coroner's assistant, but later dropped out and began working in a funeral home. Davis's musical career started with the Buck Naked Band, then he joined Sex Art, where he began to perform actively on stage. In 1993 the band Korn was founded, which is considered one of the pioneers of the new metal genre. Davis also pursues a solo career and collaborates with various artists in different directions. Jonathan has had a huge impact on the music industry and has become a legend of metal music. Watch these videos to see more fascinating transformations of your favorite celebrities. See you in the next video.